So having all these fractions makes it a little difficult. Uh, what we want to do is we want to start off by multiplying the equation by something to make all the fractions disappear. So we want to multiply by something where 15 is a factor, 5 is a factor, and 10 is a factor. In other words, we want to find a number that 15 can fit into, that 5 can fit into, and that 10 can fit into. So you might think of a bigger number than this, but the, l the smallest number is 30. Because when you multiply 30 to this term, you can think of it as multiplying 30 over 1, and you can cross-simplify. Looking diagonally, 30 can be divided by 15, and 15 can be divided by 15. And so now you're just going to be distributing 2 to everything up here in the numerator. But you've got to multiply 30 to this number as well. So 30, 5 and 30 can also cross-simplify to make 6, so we've got an extra 6 going on. And then 30 times this over here, 10 and 30 cross-simplify to make 3 up here and 1 down here. All right, so you got minus 3. Make sure to watch out for that sign. That's a minus 3x minus 7. So the result after cross-simplification has to stay out here because you've got to multiply whatever is left times the rest of the turn, uh, term. Sorry. Okay, now we can distribute. That's 2x minus 8. 6 times 6 is 36. Distribute a negative sign. Watch out, that's negative 3x plus 21. Okay. And then the rest of this is just standard algebra. I'm trying to get x by itself, so... Oh, this is supposed to be 36, not 3x. Almost made a mistake. I'm going to add that 3x to both sides. So we got 5x minus 8 equals 36 plus 21. Let's combine those while we're here. That's 57. Got to add that 8 to both sides. So we get 5x equals 65. And divide 5 from both sides. So that's 13. Five times. Yep, that's it. Okay, so x is 13 for this one.